Hello there, Chris Assis here, and today we're going to be talking about cantos. So, we are fancying things up a little bit. Um, so, what is the most vital thing about a gancho? The most vital thing about a gancho is the connection. Because the gancho is, and not generally speaking, I'm very, very specific. So, the gancho is a hook of one partner's leg around the other partner's leg. So do not try to create a gancho with before you feel the, that connection. So this is one very common mistake and very troubling thing for the followers because they try to guess. So you see followers looking down and they go like this and they try to see and then they try to place their leg where it's supposed to be placed. Don't do any of that. When you start collecting the feet, if your partner's leg, if you, when you start feeling that, oh, there we go, there is a point of contact, then close up the leg. Now, that's number one. Do not guess. Do not say, oh, yeah, yeah, I think there is a gancho coming. Wait until, your par until you feel that, oh, there is my partner's leg. Now it's the moment to hook, because if there is no leg there, there's no hook. How can you hook around something that there's not there? Okay, so that will take a little bit uh, the fear away of where where am I supposed to be placing my leg? When am I supposed to be doing the gancho? And of course, you won't be kicking your partners. So, haha, success. Now, <laughs> regarding the other troubles uh, that we have. So sometimes we think it has to do with force and we think it have with a really need to kick and we think that it has to, to be a, a lot of give with the body and a big extension. Um, and that of course is troubling for the leaders and for the followers. Uh, either sometimes the followers overdo it uh, or the leaders overdo it or we both overdo it. Um, so, and the, the most, the common thread that causes all this trouble is that we're thinking that it's minimized on the legs. So the drill that we're, that we're going to have today uh, connects the dots between what's happening with your arms and what's happening uh, with your body and what's happening with the legs. So um, we're going to start and I'm going to show you what to avoid and uh, then we're going to get to our two drills for the day. Actually, three drills. It's two, three-ish if you want to take it up a notch. So here we go. So these are things that you want to avoid for a successful gancho. you saw in the uh, first uh, in the first bad example uh, in the first example you should not be doing uh, it, it it was a little bit like I wasn't even on my axis and I was trying to kick back so I was so focused on kicking I completely ignored anything else so don't do that first get on your axis remember connect your free leg with your partner's leg and then and only then you do a gancho. In the second example, my body was doing the gancho, not my leg. My body was all the way back here. And maybe it looks a little bit exaggerated, but believe me, I've seen these things on the dance floor and in classes. The reason why it's happening, and it might look funny to you now seeing it, but the reason it's happening is because we don't trust the lead that we're feeling. We're, we're like, oh, we know that they, there is that there is a limitation, which is our partner's leg there, and we're like, oh, you know, feeling uncomfortable, and our body reaches first before our leg has even gotten there. So you end up you end up in a really extended position and you end up losing your balance. Then the last one, this one is actually for the partner uh, um, who is 
is supposed to be creating the gancho opportunity, meaning the person with a free leg in between the other person's legs. So what happened there was I could actually collect and then I, you know, just kick back a little bit, which means that maybe it, it, it's either the angle that is completely wrong and allowed me to actually collect my feet. It, it, basically, it is that you have not placed your free leg in the right spot. So I am not sure what sometimes people are aiming for, but basically you want to ensure that you're going to be, uh, you're, you're going to, your partner as is, he or she is bringing the leg in towards your leg, you're gonna meet somewhere around the knee, somewhere around the bottom part of the thigh. So if you're just putting your toes in there or if you're just putting you know, a little bit of your foot and you're staying back and you're not committing to, to creating an opportunity for a hook, there cannot be a hook. And actually what, what might cause you some fear or maybe, maybe I'll throw my partner off axis, maybe I am, I'm going to get kicked, all these things will happen if you don't position yourself right. So you need to make sure that you know where you are and what you're aiming for. So uh, these are things that you should be avoiding and following is the exercises that will help you get really beautiful, confident ganchos. Here we go. In this first exercise, we're doing leg swings. Uh, the most common problem with leg swings is either that um, we make too much movement or we make a very, very small movement, very restrained. So I want you to pay attention here uh, to uh, how I am managing to free up that leg. I am not stiffening up the standing side. I am not at the other and collapsing and moving all over the place. I am yielding. So I'm responding to the gravity um, and that allows me to free up the other side. So if you see, uh, you, you, there is a lot of movement. There is a swing, there's a little bit of a swing, there is, um, there is a little bit of a twist, there's a little bit of a back and forth. All these things are happening. We don't want to stop them, but we don't want to collapse. For this one, you're going to need a band. It's rather easy. You do you do a forward, a f half forward hocho, and then pulling with two hands, you do the ganjo. This is you need to do exactly what you did in the leg swings. You step back, yield with one side, and go. And that's why we need both hands to pull. You're not only pulling with the hand uh, that is the same as the leg that you're going to kick back with, you're pulling with the other one as well so you can balance yourself. The band is a great, great partner because you'll know right away when you're even just a tad off axis. See, uh, notice here how the upper body is doing the work. So see, two hands two hands pull and go and then turn step two hands and go right so pay attention here take your time and don't just rush through and keep your whole body into the game and then if you want to take it up a notch you're gonna do ganchos and forward ochos no band and step but here same principles apply only you don't have the band as a helper unfortunately so you need to take the details from the previous exercise and bring them into your movement right now so you can safely step back yield with one side kick